Amid a heated debate in Washington over whether easy monetary policy and unprecedented fiscal stimulus spending is actually hampering the economic recovery, Federal Reserve officials on Wednesday signaled that they are looking ahead to two interest rate hikes by the end of 2023, sooner than previously expected but not imminent, as signs of inflation continue to rattle markets. The process of reopening the economy is unprecedented, as was the shutdown at the onset of the pandemic, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said during a press briefing on Wednesday. As the reopening continues, shifts in demand can be large and rapid and bottlenecks, hiring difficulties and other constraints could continue to limit how quickly supply can adjust, raising the possibility that inflation could turn out to be higher and more persistent than we expect. The longer the Fed delays, tightening policy, the greater the threat it will be forced to slam on the policy breaks down the road," wrote Mohamed El Arian, chief economic advisor at Allianz, in a Bloomberg op-ed published Tuesday. This would, in turn, risk both an economic recession and financial market instability, 3.4%. That's the Fed's prediction for PCE inflation in 2021, up a full percentage point from its March prediction of 2.4%. It expects 7% GDP growth and 4.5% unemployment for the year. At the onset of the coronavirus crisis in the United States in March 2020, the Fed slashed interest rates to near zero levels to prop up the financial sector and has not adjusted them since. The central bank also said it would purchase $700 billion in government debt and continues to buy $120 billion in bonds per month to support that market. In the minutes from its June meeting, the Fed did not specify when it would terminate the bond buying program. Here's what plunging lumber prices tell us about inflation, Forbes. Here's what could happen when $300 unemployment expires, according to Goldman Sachs. Forbes prices soared 5% on a yearly basis in May, Forbes, U. S. added 559,000 jobs in May, less than experts were expecting but better than April's dismal data, Forbes.